Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of someone approaching you with their heart on their sleeve. This is somebody wanting to um, express some sort of romantic intentions towards you. I'm seeing a romantic proposal. This is definitely somebody who is making some sort of romantic love offer to you. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Scorpio. Okay, so the first card we have is the Queen of Cups, and this is Water Energy. Next, we have the Four of Cups, Water Energy. And finally, we have the Ten of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so there is definitely an energy here of this person seeing you as the Queen of Cups. This is somebody who feels like you guys have some sort of um, a nurturing energy. There's this energy of feeling like they feel um, safe with you. They feel like you are somebody who is gentle and um, they feel a strong attachment to you, an emotional connection to you is what I'm seeing. Um, this person is definitely coming towards you with that um, sentiment of seeing you as someone who's quite healing and um, compassionate and even magical with this Queen of Cups energy. However, with the Four of Cups, it's it's almost like you're um, drained from this person or there's this apathy towards this person. Um, with the Ten of Wands, there's like you may have had some sort of cycle with this person where you felt like you were the one who gave a lot or you felt like it was one-sided and exhausting and depleting. And it's like you're not really interested in what this person is offering you at this time or you're not um, open to it, you're not seeing it. There's this energy of passing up an opportunity with the Four of Cups and with the Ten of Wands, it's like it, there's this energy of feeling like um you know you've done this before and it was very difficult with this person so this could be someone who you gave up on and it's like they now want to come towards you with their heart on their sleeve so let's clarify these cards um scorpio at the bottom of the deck we have the ten of cups and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so this person definitely sees you as someone who they want to have a family with or they want to be your family they see you as family they feel very connected to you this is definitely someone who wants some sort of happily ever after with you okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this okay so the first card we have is the page of swords and this is air energy Next, you have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, so you could be dealing with a Cancer. And finally, we have the King of Swords, Air Energy. So this is definitely someone who cares a lot about you. They think a lot about you. They've been watching you for a while now. They've been in your energy with the Page of Swords. This is definitely someone who's very curious about you. Um, they want to move forward with you with the Chariot here. This person, they believe that you guys could have a victory. This person may like to be in control as well. Um, it's like this person wants to take the lead in the situation. They want to take control over this. Um, this person is quite determined as well. I do see a very perseverance energy. It's like they are determined 
determined to get you out of this four of cups energy this is someone who's wanting to win you over or to prove themselves in some way um th this is someone who wants to communicate with you as well with this king of swords energy um again we're seeing a very controlled energy this person wants to control the situation okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you scorpio So the card says, confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Okay, so this person really wants to be seen by you. This person really does. I'm seeing someone who is actually even confident that they can win you over. They, they, this is someone who's quite perseverant. I do see them putting on the charm. Um, this is definitely someone who um, really wants to have this Ten of Cups. They believe that it's meant to be with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Scorpio. So the card says, flirt, extend your light-hearted energy to others. So this person is definitely going to be charming towards you. I do see this person being flirtatious, trying to, um, you know, get you to feel, um, you know, a light-hearted energy. Um, I do see them trying to romance you as well. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Scorpio. So the card says, strength of character and moral integrity. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experiences of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired and success achieved so this is definitely someone who you've had a, lot, a difficult cycle with it's like there has been a lot of challenges when you did connect with this person and you may have even given up on them um, but this person still believes that this connection can still thrive they still believe that they can win you over and that you guys can still have the ten of cups okay so they want to turn this ten of wands to ten of cups is what i'm seeing okay so that's what i'm seeing for you scorpio i hope you have a really really good day scorpio bye scorpio